We often talk about acne products and specifically skincare products that work for your skin, but a lot of the time we don't get too into the ingredients specifically and what they're doing for your skin when you deal with acne. And I'm talking both about prescription products and also products that you can get at the store because there are so many different ingredients out there and it can be a little bit confusing to figure out which ones are right for you. So today we're going to talk about that. Before I get started, this video is sponsored by Apostrophe. I have talked about Apostrophe for years. I continue to use their service and it's because they provide access to prescription treatments, which is so needed these days. I personally love it because I can log onto my computer late at night after my kids have gone to sleep and I can send a message to an expert derm team and let them know whatever it is that I'm dealing with. A lot for me tends to be my melasma. But again, if you have acne or any other kind of skin ailment, you can message the team, you upload a few pictures, you can just take those pictures right from your computer. So it doesn't even have to be professional or anything like that. You just don't want to have any makeup on. You send in these pictures, you send in your questions. You might get more questions to some of the things that you were mentioning, or you'll get prescribed very specific treatments that you need for your skin. It's mailed to your house and it just helps you stay consistent. And to me, if you are consistent with your skincare routine and especially your prescription treatments, that's when you're going to see the best results because you have to stick with it. You're not going to see overnight results and you know this. So if you can have access to your prescription treatments, it is a game changer. So I've been a big fan of Apostrophe. They make it really cool. The product look really cute. They streamline everything for you. I love it. And by the way, if you're new to Apostrophe, you can just use my code. It's Susan Yara. I always have a code with them. You can get your first online consultation for only $5. You can just do your consultation and see what is prescribed to you or recommended for you. And if you're dealing with acne especially, it's a great way to start to treat your acne. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're talking about acne in general, like the very generalized term of it. So that can include anything that basically is a clogged pore. Think your white heads, your blackheads, the pustules, the, the papules, the cystic acne. So anything that is a clogged pore, that is what we're talking about in this video when we're referring to acne. Acne can be caused just from sebum and old skin being stuck in your pores and just getting clogged, but it can also be caused by bacteria. So this is why you get such different types of acne. So with that said, I do suggest if you're dealing with what you feel like is severe acne and maybe using ingredients like this in different combinations or whatever have not worked for you, definitely speak with a professional and let them know what you have done for your skin and what you've been dealing with and any kind of changes. Because a lot of the time it can also be hormonal. You just don't know. And the worst is dealing with it when it has gotten out of hand. All right, so acne ingredient number one is probably the most recommended ingredient when you're dealing with acne, and that is retinoids. You hear me talk about retinoids all the time on this channel. I tend to talk about retinoids because I use them for anti-aging purposes, but really retinoids are this great all-around ingredient for any kind of skin ailment. Honestly, when people are asking me what they should be adding to their skincare routine, I always ask first, besides sunscreen, do you use a retinoid? And here's the reason why. Retinoids are proven, especially the prescription strength retinoids like your tretinoin, they are proven to speed up skin cell turnover, whether you need it or not. The reason why that is important is because retinoids basically signal to your skin cells that are in your inner layers of your epidermis to basically send those new skin cells up to the top of your skin. That way you're getting this skin cell turnover. I think it's the reason why a lot of people think that retinoids exfoliate your skin. And in some ways it is helping because you are getting that turnover, but it's it's not slopping it away. And that's where other ingredients, we'll talk about them in just a second, come into play, right? To actually exfoliate your skin. So because of this, retinoids help to speed up collagen production in your skin or encourage collagen production for your skin. This is especially helpful if you have acne because it could potentially help to alleviate or like help to minimize the acne scars that you might get. It also helps dead skin cells detach from your skin and shed. Again, this is why people think that retinoids exfoliate their skin. What it's really doing is making making sure that those skin cells don't clog your pores because that tends to lead to acne. And also, if you deal with oily skin, retinoids are great because it can help to minimize the hair follicle, which can then lead to less sebum production, that oil production. So you can see it works in a lot of different ways that can be very beneficial to somebody who's dealing with any type of clogged pores or acne. Now, there are lots of different classes of retinoids. You've heard me talk about them. There is the prescription strength like tretinoin, and then there is the retinaldehydes, the retinoids, and also also the retinol esters that are much more gentle for your 
skin. But specifically for acne, the FDA approved acne treatment is tretinoin. That is prescription strength. You can of course get that through apostrophe. And then from there, after prescription strength, then you can go and get the other types, just depending on how sensitive your skin is. But if you are dealing with true, true acne that is hard to deal with, then you're probably gonna see tretinoin pop up in your future. Next up, one of my all time favorite ingredients. So we're actually starting out with basically my two favorite skincare ingredients, and that is azelaic acid. I love azelaic acid. It's a decarboxylic acid, which means nothing to most people, including myself, but it just basically is a category of acids that are really gentle for your skin, but really effective. Like other acids, it does exfoliate your skin, but it's a very mild exfoliation. And that's because it has a larger molecule, so it doesn't penetrate your skin as deeply. So you're just getting that very mild exfoliation. And on top of that, it's anti-inflammatory, which is great for anybody that's dealing with cystic acne that can get a little bit red or even something like acne rosacea, which can be kind of a combination of that red acne with the redness you're getting from rosacea. Azelaic acid is also a really great treatment for rosacea. So if you're dealing with bowls, it works really great for that. It can also help kill acne causing bacteria, which is another reason why it's great for your treatments. And if you have oily skin, it's known as a skin balancing ingredient, meaning that it's going to help to minimize that oil by just balancing your skin. Another reason why it's helpful in acne treatment is that it's a tyrosinase inhibitor, meaning that it helps to reduce melanin production, not melanin, meaning your entire skin tone, but that excess melanin production that can lead to hyperpigmentation. So if you're dealing with melasma, if you're dealing with the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that you can get, PIH or even PIE, which is post-inflammatory erythema, which is basically the dark marks that you get after acne or the redness that you can get that eventually turns into dark marks after your acne. It's very helpful in helping to reduce those types of tones in your skin. It also can help reduce skin sensitivity. So it's an all around really great option for people who are dealing with acne, who also happen to have sensitive skin or rosacea or also the reason why I love it, if you're pregnant, because you can't use tretinoin when you're pregnant, but you can use azelaic acid. Now that said, when it comes to the most studied results that you get from using azelaic acid, it's usually at a higher percentage. So at a prescription level where it's 15 to 20% azelaic acid. So it's a pretty high percentage of that. You can also get 10% and lower from store-bought brands, but the most studied results are gonna be at that higher percentage point, 15 to 20%. It tends to get a little bit more grainy, a little bit more pasty feeling, the higher percentage that you go. But that said, I find with apostrophe, the azelaic acid is pretty smooth and easy to use in my skincare routine. And best of all, azelaic acid works really great with ingredients like tretinoin and other acne treatments. So they also can compound it and they have offerings that include both azelaic acid and other ingredients like tretinoin. Next up, benzoyl peroxide. This probably takes you back to your teen years, but honestly, benzoyl peroxide is great for so many different skin types. It can range in percentage from like 2.5% all the way up to 10%. You can get it in a wash, you can get it in a cream or a gel. It really just depends on how severe your acne is or maybe what your dermatologist recommends for your skin and what's needed for your acne treatment. The reason why benzoyl peroxide is great to use when you are treating acne is because Unlike the other ingredients that I've already talked about, it's not really speeding up skin cell turnover and helping to reduce oil production. It's working in a whole different way. It is attacking the bacteria that could be causing your acne. The way that it does this is really interesting. It goes through this whole process on your skin. And by the way, all these ingredients go through a process on your skin. This one goes through a process where it's essentially releasing oxygen, which essentially oxidizes the bacterial proteins that lead to your acne. So easier to say, it kills the bacteria that causes your acne. That's really the easiest way to explain it. One thing to know is benzoyl peroxide can be a little bit tricky to add into your skincare routine when you're using lots of different active ingredients because it can just kind of counteract those ingredients and maybe like destabilize them. So you just want to be aware of how you're using it in your skincare routine. A lot of the time I'll see people use like a benzoyl peroxide wash in the morning and then in the evening they use all of their active ingredients for their skin like their tretinoin and all of that. There are products out there that combine benzoyl peroxide and retinoids but they're formulated like that. I wouldn't really try to get into it and also note that benzoyl peroxide in a leave-on treatment especially can sometimes bleach your pillowcases so 
those are just things to know. But benzoyl peroxide is truly a go-to ingredient. It is FDA approved to treat acne. Another thing to note about benzoyl peroxide that makes it really great during acne treatment is if you're prescribed oral or topical antibiotics, benzoyl peroxide can then be added into your skincare routine because it helps to prevent bacterial resistance. So it's just a really unique ingredient to add into your routine if you're dealing with acne specifically. Next up on the list is an ingredient that I think is underrated when it comes to acne treatment, and that is sulfur. Sulfur has been around forever. It's a naturally derived ingredient, and sometimes it can smell like farts because it's sulfur. It smells like rotten eggs, basically. That said, when you get it in skincare ingredients, it just depends on the percentage of the sulfur that's being used. And something that I think people don't realize about sulfur is it's also an FDA approved treatment for acne when it's above 3%. Sulfur is great for acne treatment because it has antibacterial, antifungal, and also keratolytic properties when it comes to treating your acne. And when I say it's keratolytic, it means that it helps to soften and thin the top layer of your skin in a positive way, meaning that it's going to help prevent clogged pores. The antibacterial properties are obviously great for acne because it can help to fight that bacteria that can cause acne. Antifungal properties can be really helpful when dealing with acne, especially that acne where you're like, what is this? I've seen different experts, I've tried everything and nothing seems to be working. You might be dealing with some kind of a fungus or even some type of a parasite and sulfur can be really helpful in treating that. Next up in acne treatment is spironolactone. And if you're a woman, you might have actually been suggested this by your doctor already because it's most effective when taken orally, but only women, only females can actually use it because it helps to block the effects of androgens on your body. So think hormones like testosterone, meaning that it's gonna help to reduce oil production. That said, anyone can use the topical version of spironolactone. It just doesn't have as many studies of being useful in acne treatment as the oral version does. Both of them are prescription strength treatments and you can, again, get these through apostrophe. Now, if you have used all of these ingredients in your skincare routine, you might find that your dermatologist prescribes you an antibiotic. Usually these antibiotics are either doxycycline or clindamycin. And you either use them topically or orally. And actually what I like about apostrophe is that sometimes they will compound the antibiotics with your other acne treatment ingredients. The reason why these antibiotics can be great for acne treatment is one, they help to fight again that bacteria that can cause your acne. And two, they're anti-inflammatory. And last of all the acne treatment ingredients is salicylic acid, also known as BHA or beta hydroxy acid. Despite what people might think this is not always the most popular ingredient that dermatologists recommend for your acne treatment, but it is a really great ingredient for acne treatment. And it's also an FDA approved acne treatment when it's between 0.5% to 2%. And you can get this over the counter, meaning that you can go to the drugstore and you can buy products that have this level of salicylic acid in it. The reason why I think it is so popular is because it's just truly very accessible. You can find BHA or salicylic acid, whether it's considered an OTC product or not, in lots of different brands. And that's because it's just a really great exfoliant. It's a little bit different from other really popular exfoliants like your AHAs, your alpha hydroxy acids, because salicylic acid is oil soluble. So that means it's gonna help to break down the clogged pores, the sebum that is clogging your pores. And it also helps to dissolve that glue, basically that holds your dead skin cells intact and, and just helps you to slough it off. The other reason why it's great for acne treatment is it's anti-inflammatory. So it can help to, again, reduce that redness that you get from acne. So those are probably the most popular of the acne acne ingredients. If you have other ingredients that you've used or been prescribed and I didn't mention it, definitely tell us in the comments below. Remember, you can use my code for apostrophe. If it is your first time, you get your consultation for just $5. You'll see what they prescribe for you and then you'll be able to order it all from the comfort of your own home. You just get onto your computer and you are done. If you have any other questions, you can find me on social media. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.